Hi Aries, welcome back and thank you for joining me for your general love reading for Gemini season. So this will not be for every Aries watching, but if it is your story, I hope to hear from you in the comments. If not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. So just reverse roles however they apply to your story as time, energy, and gender are fluid. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and as always, please like this video subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So to my lovely Aries subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support of the channel. Thank you for all of your donations and purchasing of private readings. If you are a new subscriber, definitely connect with me outside of YouTube by clicking the description box below all of my social media links, website, payment app information for those of you who would like to purchase a private reading, and members only area link are down below for those of you who enjoy your readings spicy. So Aries, as we are moving into this reading, remember it is Gemini season and Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. So in this reading, we'll be looking into the energy of your person of interest and seeing what are they thinking and what they would like to say to you. So if you're one of those who feels as if this reading is resonating more for what's going on in your own mind, then that's perfectly okay too. Just take what applies, let the rest fly and never force a reading to fit. So let's start out with the heavenly bodies oracle and see what spirit wants us to know for the sign of Aries and their person. Oh my gosh, you guys. So first of all, Saturn has been literally coming up in the reverse in almost every zodiac reading. Like I would have to say eight out of 10 so far. So <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's talk about it because Saturn is retrograde right now and the keywords here are feeling restricted, experiencing struggle, learning hard work, and patience. So those individuals who have done their work, okay, they're going to experience really positive karma over the next several months. Whereas individuals who have not been doing the work, aka avoiding showing up as their authentic self, shirking their responsibilities, um, you know, creating situations in their life which cause them shame and regret. And, you know, Daddy Saturn is coming in to drag those people because it's time for the lessons to be learned already. This is pertaining to those people out there who continue to cycle back and through the same lesson over and over and over again and every single time they do they act surprised or uh, again this could be even like a victim mentality um, that I'm that I'm kind of feeling so if you are connecting with someone who's like that who uh, continues to kind of get themselves in those same karmic cycle loops and they just never seem to learn, then unfortunately Saturn is going to end up dragging your person up and down the street several times, okay? Um, now, if you are the type that has done the work, like I said, Aries, then you should be in for some smooth sailing. And I do think that Saturn coming up in the reverse is kind of a positive omen in that case. So for you, I would say, you know, this person and you could potentially finally be ending a very repetitive cycle involving karma, something that may have been something that may have been spread over a long period of time even. But uh, again, everything needs to come to an end. Everything has a season, right? So if you and this person are connecting after a long period of going through karmic cycles, dealing with your responsibilities and so on and so forth, then this could potentially be a much better season for you guys, okay? So let's see what else we have from the heavenly bodies and what else does Aries need to know in regards to their person? The moon. So you could be connecting with a Pisces or a Cancer, but the overall word is satisfying emotional needs, nurturing self and others. So the moon clearly is about things that are under the surface that are coming to light, deeper emotions. And this could also involve secrecy. Um, smoke and mirrors, mystery, fear. So ultimately, you know, your person could be 
finally having those emotions rising to the surface based on everything they've been through, okay? This could be a revelation that they've had about their deeper feelings, and this could be kind of a coming out moment for them where they finally admit what's been going on behind the scenes, okay? So what else do we have to see for Aries? The South Node, destined to release. So again, there's this vibe of like a release is coming. Something is going to be cleared. Some Something is going to come to the surface and be revealed. Um, and this has to do with learning the lessons. Part of the karma um, that you and this person had to deal with is letting go, surrendering. Okay, South Node is about the lessons of our past, things that we're not destined to hold on to. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we've got Uranus energy, radically change. So yeah, you know, maybe this person isn't the type who is capable of coming out of those karmic cycles, right? You could be dealing with someone who's kind of loops back and through like 10 second Tom and they're like, okay, uh, I just learned this lesson and oh, wait a minute, what? Hi, I'm Tom, right? And they just kind of go through it over and over again. This person could finally be making some radical changes in their life and realizing that they need to release certain patterns okay um certain toxic individuals whatever the specific scenario only you will know um under that we also have cancerian energy house four cultural and family roots home peace and comfort so again you could be connecting with the cancer but this to me seems like your person needed a lesson in figuring out what was really important to them okay you can't make um, you can't make a home out of toxic karmic cycles, right? And if you try to, then you're only going to be creating a toxic environment to live in. Whereas what you're wanting to do or what most people want to do is create a safe and stable environment for themselves. And again, that Cancerian energy popping through, it's like this person realizes what is important to them now, what they really need to survive, what is going to make them feel stable and comfortable, okay? Um, and so let's get into the tarot and find out what's going on in this person's mind. What are they thinking about? How are they thinking about you? Oh my gosh, we got a lot coming out. So this card was popping out and I'm going to go ahead and see, um, I'm not going to look at this whole stack. I'm just going to take a look at the two that I actually saw. So first card up is the 10 of cups. Okay. So this person is thinking about reuniting with you, having a happy ending, having complete emotional fulfillment, starting a family, which once more, right in line with this house for energy, okay? Ten of Cups is represented by water. So again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is really focused on a future, okay? They want to reunite. The other two cards we had were the Six of Swords and the Hierophant in the reverse. So, you know, talk about ending toxic karmic cycles. This person could have finally freed themselves from some sort of tradition, okay? From some sort of um, rules, regulations, marriage, okay? Higher level of commitment, whatever the hierophant represents for you, this person is putting an end to that. They're walking away from toxicity. They're putting their swords down and they're about to head to emotional rejuvenation. This is a healing card. This person doesn't want conflict. They don't want toxicity. They don't want confusion. They want clarity. And the only way they're going to get that is by walking away and focusing on themselves. So again, this person is making radical changes in their life. They're leaving behind the things that they know are not meant to go along with them to the next level, which is really great. I mean, this could be the good karma that's coming in for you right now under Saturn retrograde. This person finally learning their lessons, finally walking away from whatever's been holding them back. Now, they're also thinking... Oops. 
Oh my goodness. They're also thinking three of cups energy. Oh my gosh. Another card of reconciliation and reunion. Okay, this person wants to surround themselves with people they can trust. This is also a card of friendship and celebration. So, you know, ultimately this person could be celebrating right now. They could be hanging out with their friends and again, kind of reestablishing their group setting or their group dynamic. Um, and I think all of this is with the goal in mind of coming back together with you. Maybe this person didn't always surround themselves with the best individuals. They could have had some toxic people chirping in their ear, telling them what to do, how to act, how, you know, what to say, who to be. And now they're starting to focus on what's important yet again, right? What makes them feel comfortable. Obviously, if you can't trust someone, how come? Comfortable are you really gonna feel right this person wants to surround themselves with true friends true love and authentic people right people who got their back they don't want to be surrounding themselves with people who they don't even know if they have the best intentions this person wants to be sure about their future Okay, um, again, the moon on the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this person is starting to acknowledge that there is so much more underneath the surface. Um, and under that surface, they've barely even scratched, right? They know now that it's time for them to acknowledge their fears, acknowledge any sort of um need to hide from the world and again this is about intuition this person is trusting themselves this is a divine feminine energy okay so um again the moon this person could be also manifesting with the moon phases we have this woman standing here with the two wolves kind of howling at the moon um, we have the symbol of hecate and just in general like this triple moon goddess vibe like your person is seeing all these different facets to themselves and the potential of the connection with you so aries what else do we need to see about this person what are they thinking what are they focused on um what are they processing right now okay so funny we have the unknown and the two of pentacles popping up in the reverse so ultimately this person could have spent a long time in confusion trying to find the answers and this card coming up in the reverse is telling me that your person did find an answer they're no longer just kind of feeling around in the dark um, they could be using divination tools or again just kind of trusting their intuition listening to their inner voice and um finally like coming out of this state of fear of change. I do feel as if this person has feared change throughout their life and it's because they don't like to feel uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable, but the only constant thing in life is change and this person is seeing the light now, okay? They're no longer feeling the need to walk on a tightrope or be careful to not disrupt the status quo. This person is creating radical changes in their life in order to build a solid foundation for themselves. You know, I'm surprised we haven't seen the tower in this reading, okay? Um, again, this is giving me the vibe of like, your person has gone through this lesson over and over and over again to the point where they have no choice but to finally get it, okay? So let's get one more shuffle for this person and what's going on in their mind. Oops. Okay, so first of all, the world, yes, amen. We're, we're closing out that cycle. We're learning the lessons. This could also be world travel and communication, but you can see that this person is Zen, right? Not only are there butterflies surrounding them, but the butterflies are actually in sync with this person, right? And that's really important. I think that this person has spent a long time trying to get in sync with themselves, trying to gain that peace and balance. Um, and again, that comfortable, stable home environment for themselves. So next we've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is all about a tangible new beginning, something that is promising. Um, this could be a new business opportunity, a proposal, a gift. It could be many different things. 
but ultimately this is a new opportunity to make things real and it could also just be this person deciding that they're wanting to make a, an investment in themselves for the future they could be thinking about proposing to you right um, having a life with you and starting from the bottom up right you are the person that they want to build that foundation with the fool represented also by Aries energy is a risk taker okay someone who is capable of of trusting and having faith in the universe this is again going back to that whole concept of change being uncomfortable change is scary and you can see this woman looking back behind her one last time before she um jumps off of the edge Okay, so this person is reflecting also on their growth and their, their readiness to move into a new chapter of their life. So I think it's kind of funny. We have the world and then the fool. It's like this person has learned the lessons and reached a sense of completion to, to the point where now they're ready to go on this new journey. They're ready to take the risks. Okay. And with the king of wands popping up as well i don't know if it was in reverse or not i can't remember but i see the king of wands as you okay um aries this is you you are the king of wands whether you're a male or female this is your highest potential of your element so this is your person recognizing that in order to truly be satisfied with themselves, they need to follow what makes them passionate. This is a card of someone being very sure about their actions moving forward, knowing exactly what steps to take to manifest what they want. So this is manifestation happening for your person. They're coming out of these lessons straight out the gate with King of Wands energy. This is someone who takes control, someone who is not afraid. Okay, so again, this is all going on in their thoughts. This could be what they're thinking of you as well, knowing that you have completed said lessons, that you have gained a newfound confidence within yourself, that you are ready to take a risk. Okay, but regardless of however the roles are in your personal story, this is really positive energy. Okay, radical change and leaving behind the things that are toxic, that do not work okay no longer involving yourself with individuals who don't have your best interests at hand that is what this person is focused on right now bottom of the deck we have the five of swords in the reverse like i said they're walking away from any sort of betrayals of the past they're walking away from anyone who wants to be petty um or you know having that vibe of needing to be better than them or one-upping them this is winning and feeling like an asshole about it so if your person is dealing with some toxic behaviors of their own or again some external party force whatever that has made them feel insecure that has hurt them that has caused them a lot of pain and confusion um, this person could also be um, kind of self-sabotaging in a sense based on that okay now they're realizing that they're doing that they're understanding that they cannot sabotage their future and the life that they want because they've gotten stabbed in the back a couple times by someone else okay not to say that your person's feelings are invalid because i'm sure they are but they're recognizing the need to move away from these dynamics into a healthier environment for themselves okay that is their priority right now and i think it's a pretty good one okay so we've got a lot of that going on in these readings people really seeing the light and taking charge on a new path for themselves so um, underneath the five of swords we also have the knight of wands so we're talking about someone brave someone who perhaps in the past may have had a fear of commitment and so we're transforming this right we're going from this um, possibly very physical and non-committal energy to 
right fresh out the gate with the King of Wands. So whoever this person is, they've gone through a major transformation. They've gone through a major period of maturity. And I love that for them, okay? I really, really do. So um, let's go ahead and get some advice from the Starseed Mini Oracle and see what Spirit has to say. Patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. So Spirit is saying to have faith in this person. Okay, be patient. Let things unfold. This person is your destiny and I believe they know that too. But this is not something that can be rushed or forced. Okay, it has to fall into place organically. Courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Yeah, um, I feel like, Aries, you could be this person's encouragement, okay? Um, if you are very bold, brave out there, then this person could be following in your footsteps, which, again, another major theme in these Zodiac readings. So what other advice do we have from Spirit? Blue Star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. Yeah, so remember, the truth is always within, okay? And as I'm saying that, I want to share as well, it was at the bottom of the deck again, we've got the high priestess talking about inner wisdom, um, trusting the knowledge that you have within you as source, love, energy, um, and not questioning it, right? Not sitting there naysaying on your own self or causing doubt within what you already know to be true, which is that you are the truth. You are love, okay? And all of that resides within your soul, your being. So um, one more, meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. So if you are feeling disconnected, spirit's telling you to meditate. So finally, what do we have here from the Mercury Edition 8 deck? and seeing what this person has to say to you. Um, this deck is by The Pretty Psyche, who I will link down below. She's on Instagram and makeplayingcards.com. So this person is saying, I felt too emotionally invested in you. That scared me. So yeah, this person's afraid of their feelings, all right? People I know lurk your social media for me. So they have their friends doing their stalker work. Um, what else do we have here, Aries? I know you're the one for me. Yeah, you know, your person already knows what's up. And again, they're really focused on reconciliation and reunion. You've been the only person who's never hurt me, okay? So they know that your intentions for them are, are the best, okay? They know you're not out here to hurt them. I didn't know how you could see through my trauma, insecurities, etc. And I didn't like how you could see through them is what it says actually. So they were not prepared, okay? You could see right through them. They were uncomfortable about it possibly. They couldn't believe that you could just read them like a book, okay? Especially if this is someone who you recently met or again, if you have that strong connection upon first meeting. I wear what you gave me because I still care about you. So if this person gave you something, Aries, or if you gave them something, they're holding on to it. They're carrying it with them. I brag about you sexually. So whether or not you've physically been with this person, they're bragging about your assets. They're bragging about your physicality. Uh, I still have your pictures on my phone. So they're definitely looking at you, wanting to experience your energy. Let's go out for drinks. So this person might just call you up and, and say, screw it, right? Let's just go out. Um, this person could very well ask you out on a date. I am becoming more spiritual because of you. So um, yeah, this person is definitely following in your footsteps, taking a page out of your book. Okay, you could be like a teacher or mentor to this person. I don't like other people finding you attractive. So, um, you know, you know how it is. 
I don't even have to explain. You just know how it is. They don't want other people finding you attractive. It makes them jealous. What are you doing this weekend? Oh my goodness. Y'all will have to comment below if this person asks you on a date this weekend. I want to spend more time with you. Yeah, they want to get to know you, okay? Again, if it seems like this person is ready to move forward. I really hope you haven't moved on from me. Yeah, so I think this person would be devastated if you did. Um, especially with them really being focused on reuniting, starting a family. Oh my gosh, Aries. This is going to be the last of it. So I cherish the things you buy me. So... Again, whether or not you've actually spent money on this person, maybe you've given someone a token of your affection, they cherish those things. I see how independent you are. It makes me insecure. Mm, that's probably why they're afraid that you have moved on. If you are the type of person, Aries, that's always out and about, making new friends, making new contacts, um, you know, this person definitely has some insecurity issues to work out. I was only being mean to you because I felt bad for all I've put you through. Okay, that's oddly specific for someone. You inspire me a lot. Yep, that's exactly what I said before. And I regret this facade with them. So whoever this other person is, if there is another person that your person had to walk away from, they regret the time that they wasted with that individual when they could have been spending time with you. So... Aries, hopefully this resonated for someone out there. Um, if it did, please like the video, comment below. And of course, um, if you guys want to go even further, you can feel free to book a personal reading with me. And other than that, you guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of Gemini season. Um, I hope you are safe and well, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.